Oh, hi folks. Back in the other day, um, homemade resonator guitars, and uh, I've got this old, um, what was a little six string, three quarter size acoustic. Um, and what I think I'm doing is actually turning it into a resonator. So, so I've got this fast, I'm actually taking the bridge out, and I started marking it up to where I want the uh, sound well to go into. Uh, of course, the rest of it will be, what I cut out here, will be in feel. Um, couldn't think of the time. I mean, I looked around. I mean, you know, an aluminium cone is well, is right at my price range. So, uh, I was messing around. Just looked at some shops up in my local town, and uh, came across a stainless steel mixing bowl, uh, which I've it's 99p. Uh, well, I've cut that down, so it's it's about it's about eight and a half inches wide, uh, but it's quite. It's got quite a, a lot of movement in the top, so I'm thinking that might that might make a good resonator, you know, make a good cone. Um, so I'm going to use that as the cone itself. So that was sort of 99p. Uh, the top again, I think for the cover, I'm going to cut this down. This was a stainless steel tray. This was, I mean, this was about a pound from a pound shop. Um, so I'm going to cut that down, so it just covers, and I'm going to drill the holes. Obviously, drill holes in it to let the sound out. Um, so that's that. Um, my sound well really is, I'm not too happy with that at the moment but I've got that far with it because I couldn't find one piece of wood to cut it out to so I'm using bits and pieces but I think once that's all to glue together that will sit down inside the guitar the only thing I'm going to have to cut the back out cut the back out of the guitar to actually get this in and then strengthen it all up again so uh, anyway so that's that's my start of it anyway so uh, I, uh, I'll keep adding to it and uh, We'll go along with it as, as we see what's going on. Anyway, all right, okay. Right, following on, so we've got the next stage now. We've managed to cut the hole out now for the sound well. Obviously this will be covered by a steel plate anyway afterwards. Uh, rather than take the back off completely, I didn't want to sort of take any of the strength away from the back. So I've, what I've done, I've cut a big hole in the back so I can actually put the sound well over this and glue it all together, clamp it all together and then of course after it's after that's dry and, and it's strengthened up I can put the, the piece I took out that can go back in, in and that can be uh, filled, sanded up and because I'm going to take it all back down to base base wood anyway so uh, so I've got that far with it now um, so tomorrow I'm going to try and make uh, the sound well up um, I'm not as happy with the one I've already made so I'm going to try that again and have a little bit of timber um, and that's it so we'll carry on with it tomorrow uh, but that's as far as I've got just had to be brave and get the jigsaw out and cut a great big hole in it so we'll see how it goes well we've got a little bit further with this now um, the last time I didn't know it stripped down I've stripped it down to bare wood now and, and it's had a little bit of a varnish but it's only had just a first coat to seed everything back on it again um, you can see there sound well that's in now and the cone and the biscuit although that's fixed uh, I, I need to move that about to get the right position for it when it's strung anyway so they won't be in that place but they're just holding it together at the moment so that's all in um like i say it's, it's still got the hole in the back there um which will be filled in eventually we'll put the back back on when i've got it all together uh so that's as far as we've got with it at the moment. I've cut the uh, two F holes in there. Um, what else? It's covered on the neck as well. I'm not too sure if this sound board, this fretboard's a, a good quality hardwood. Uh, it doesn't look any different to the timber that the guitar was made out of. Uh, and there is a bit of a bow in the neck as well, but I can't really do anything about that. Anyway, I've got that far. The uh, <coughs> cover plate will go over. Over there, if you can see that there. Yeah. So that, the cover plate will be fixed on there afterwards. Uh, the only thing I've got to make up now really is a, a tail piece, uh, which I'm going to make out of a little bit of mahogany. Um, and then really finish it off, a bit of French polish, um, string it up and see what it sounds like. So hopefully that will be the next one. All right. All right, here we are again, part four of the... Uh, homemade resonator guitar. Um, as you can see this is a sort of dry run at the moment 
uh, all the bits basically I want are on it at the moment, apart from the strings. The cover plate I was going to use was a bit of stainless steel tea tray and uh, I wasn't happy with it, it was too flimsy. So I managed to scavenge some brass uh, and I think it was off a, a little tabletop. It's spun brass as well so it actually looks quite nice but there is actually, I don't think you can see on there whether it's going to do it justice, but there's some engraving on on the plate which looks quite nice. It looks like Japanese engraving. So the uh, tailpiece I was going to use was too flimsy so I've scavenged a bit off an old electric guitar. Uh, these are bits I've had laying around for a few years. Uh, I've got some pickup here, I've got pickup in off a electric. I'm just going to have a volume control, no tone pot. Uh, I have strung it and it's not very loud at the moment which is why I thought well I'll put the, uh, the, uh, the pickup in but then it really it's going to just turn it into an electric guitar isn't it? So, uh, so we we'll hopefully once it's all together and this will come off and it'll be obviously French polished again and uh, finished off. The frets are now on. I've got to address some of the frets because I've got a few issues with some of the frets that were a bit too high. But hopefully, I have strung it and there was no bow in the neck so it should, uh, it should stay together. So next time, it should all be wired up and uh, ready to play.